I'm here this morning at the Melbourne University netball team training. It's just a couple of weeks to go before Wodonga and preparations are becoming very, very tight. To talk to me this morning, I've got Matt, one of the net one or sorry, the netball team manager. Matt, I'd invite you over here for a second. How are you this morning? I'm oh, good, thanks, Davis. How are you? Not too bad. Um now last year the mixed netball team won the gold medal. So the, the defending champions head into Wodonga. Is there much pressure to perform on your sh not only your shoulders as the manager, but on their shoulders as the players? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've had a pretty big change in personnel. So um, it's a completely different team from last year, which is a good thing, I think. Um, so they won't be feeling the pinch as much. But the few players that have been left over from last year's victory, definitely um, pressure's on. Um, obviously, other unis will have a big, pretty big personnel change as well. So... Um, yeah, completely different tournament. Just trying to take it, you know, one week at a time at the stage, get every training right, and we'll go from there. Now, you mentioned a few players who have stayed on. Will they provide sort of like a got almost like a guiding hand to some of the new players? Yeah, absolutely. They're, um, they're a bunch of guns, the ones that have stayed on. And, and the new players, they know what they're doing as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a good team, hopefully. As netball team manager, you have to be able to organise training sessions, equipment, or, you know, being able to book the gym, all that sort of stuff adding up to Wodonga. You know, you... What sort of time commitment does that involve? Um, well, the biggest commitment is probably actually being at the training. Um, so that's a couple of hours a week at least, sometimes two sessions, so up to three or four hours a week. Other than that, it's, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Um, I do a lot of thinking about things. I have a bit of time to myself. I'm always thinking about it. So that's probably the biggest commitment. But no, it's, been, it's all good fun, though. It's all good fun. It's good to be involved. Do you have a couple of key players that other universities might have to watch out for? Yeah. Or if not a couple of key players, a couple of key strengths that might, you might be able to use to be able to get that gold medal again in mixed netball? Yeah, well, I'll, give you, I'll give you a player from, um, from each team to look out for. We've got um, one of the guys who's coming back for his fifth uni games now, um, Brendan Schlosser. Schloss to us. He, uh, he's been playing, been one of the better players in the twos the last couple of years, you know, put in the hard yards. He's had a big pre-season. I've actually done a lot of running with him, which has been good. And um, so he's stepped up into the ones, and he'll be one to watch. In the women's, we've got the swing lady, uh, Tess Grimmond, plays at both ends, does it well. Um, and in the mixed twos, we've got uh, Emma Clark, another defender. She uh, stepped up from the women's team into the mix this year for her first time at mixed, and uh, very excited about what she's got to offer. I'm also here with Julia, coach of the coach of the mixed ones, and they've you know, expectations are high for them. Julia, I'll invite you over a sec. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Being coach of the mixed ones, what do you have to do to get them prepared and ready to go for game one? Um, so basically, just making sure everyone's comfortable with each other playing as a team, because in netball, that's so much of the game is actually knowing who you're playing with. So it's definitely a big part of it with training, and that is really um, getting to know the other players as well as. Um, been able to anticipate their plays because that really helps on court. What are some of your experiences in the field of netball, not just at university? Do you play outside? Uh, I do. I play with a team that I've played with since about grade two. Uh, so I've been playing netball for a while. Um, what, uh, what, are your, what are some of your experiences when it comes to, say, injuries? Because netball is quite a high-impact sport on the um, lower body. Uh, lots of ankles. Ankles are a very common uh, downfall to the game and knees as well so that's a bit bit of a tough one when sort of you get people rolling their ankles doing their knees um, puts them out of the game but uh, as long as recovery is good then it's, it's all good. What are a couple of steps in your recovery say let, let's have a look at let's have a look at uni games two or three games a day how are you going to be able to recover for the next day? We're just making sure that everyone's um, having their fluids every day and eating enough and making sure that they're warming up properly before each game is a big one because it's going to be freezing in Wodonga playing outside. So really making sure everyone's warm and ready for the game to just sort of minimise injuries. Julia, I look forward to seeing what Melbourne University has to deliver at the Games. Thank you very much. I'm Davis Harrigan for Australian University Sport. There's just a few weeks to the Games. Let's bring it on. Yeah.